Hi guys, today I've got my little sheep with me and because uh, the story is about sheep. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's about, about you and sheep. Well, Jesus is a good shepherd, isn't he? Yeah, so that's why it's about sheep. Now, I'll tell you how this went on. It's, um, it's from John's Gospel. And John was one of the disciples. Yeah, he was one of the disciples. And um, he tells a story. And I think I've told you about the, the, um, the cockerel crowing when Jesus was being tried before he was crucified. And the cockerel crowed, and Jesus had told he he told Simon Peter this that he would deny him three times, and uh, that is exactly what happened. And when the when the cockerel crowed for the last time, Jesus looked straight into the eyes of Peter, and Peter was just beside himself. He went off and wept. Now, this is now I pick up the story. Now this is um, where Jesus has come back to life again and he's appeared to the disciples once. That was on the, the day that he came back to life again. And then he uh, appeared to them another time, a week after. Now that he be, appeared to them the third time. Now this is, I've, um, it was by the Sea of Tiberias. That was the name of the sea, wasn't it? Uh, no, I expect you to know. But that was the name of the sea. And, and I've looked on the map and it's about 70 miles up from Jerusalem. Now that is a long, long way. So it, they didn't have cars in those days. They would have walked up there and it would have taken them some time to walk up there. Now this time there was only 70 disciples. And um, I suppose the disciples were a bit of a loss, I don't know. But uh, all of a sudden, Simon, who was a leader really, he um, he said, I'm going fishing. So that's what they did. They went fishing. What's fishing? Well, um, it's trying to catch fish. Yeah. So they, they went out at night because that's when the fish would bite at night time. And um, they were out all night. And they came in in the morning when it was started to get daylight and um, hadn't caught anything but there was this chap on the the beach and uh, he he was on the beach and he called out friends have you caught anything and uh, they responded no so he said well try throwing the, the net on the other side of the boat so they thought, oh, okay. So they tried it. And they, they had a, a whopper of a catch. In fact, the scripture says they caught 153, uh, 153 um, fish. And um, then, then one of the disciples said, hey, that's Jesus. Oh, and Simon Peter, oh, he was just so elated that he, he he put on his outer garment that he'd taken off, and he got into the water. They were they were uh, they were near the beach, but yeah, not too far away from the beach. He got in and waded in to, to um, Jesus, and uh, none of them would ask Jesus who he was. But Jesus was he had some hot coals on the beach, and uh, he had a fish, or oh, some fish, and. Uh, uh, Peter rushed in to meet Jesus and the other disciples um, brought the, the, the net in and then they came in by boat and uh, Jesus said well bring some, bring some fish off the boat so Peter went in and um, got some fish off the boat and they all sat down to breakfast. Now it must have been really awkward because they didn't say anything to him, they didn't they didn't say, are you Jesus? They, they just ate breakfast. And uh, after breakfast, Jesus said to Simon, well, he asked him something really odd. Um, well, yeah, 
uh, I suppose it's because um, Simon had um, Simon Peter had done what he did with um, just denying Jesus. Um, he didn't feel right about his relationship with Jesus. So uh, Jesus said to him, Simon, um, do you love me more than these, more than the disciples? So Simon said, yeah, I do love you. So Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. No, he didn't. He said, feed my lambs. Now that's where you come in, because it's all about all about your babies, the lambs. And because uh, Jesus is a good shepherd, and he wasn't just, he wasn't saying it really about sheep. He was saying it about us, that are, are his sheep. So feed my lambs was feed my children, um, my lambs children. And then he said to him again, um, Simon, do you love me? And uh, Jesus said, I do love you. So Jesus said, well, look after my sheep. Now sheep are all Jesus' followers, so they're the sheep. And yeah well, yeah, well, Jesus is a good shepherd, isn't he? So then he said to him, Simon, do you love me? He said it a third time, and, Je and, and Peter was hurt. He was really hurt this time to, to think that Jesus was asking him another time, but then Peter had denied Jesus three times. So he was sort of bringing him back to the third time he asked him. And um, Peter said, Lord, I do love you. You know everything, you know I love you. So then, then um, Jesus said, well then, um, feed my sheep. And that's, that's Jesus' followers. So he was sort of like reinstating Peter into the job that he had to do. And, um, and he said to the disciples, just follow me. And they had breakfast. But there was a little bit of a dispute out over what was going to happen to them. But Jesus said, just follow me. And that was, a, that was just a, a lovely story that they, it just reinforced that, um, that Jesus was alive. And that was the third time he appeared to them. Yeah, okay, I'll say a prayer. Heavenly Father, we just thank you. Thank you, Lord, that uh, you showed yourself to the disciples when they, when you came back to life again. And we just, we just ask you to help us to trust you and follow you. Amen. Hi guys, this is Sylvia Busy Art and this is our artwork today and it's to go with the story of Peter being reinstated by Jesus on the beach and it's Jesus said feed my sheep and lambs and this is this is how it works and the little lamb pops up okay and this is how you make it so this is a template that you can access on the website and I'll show you how to do it. I've coloured in, there's not much colouring on this one. I've coloured in the, the grass and um, this is the background. So I fold that in half and then I'll cut this um, down here, the triangle. And then fold that over. I fold it back again so it's moves easier and then you can slot that up like that and just uh, make sure it's folded well and then <coughs> I've got some double-sided sticky tape I'll put that on this side of the triangle down here and then I'll put my lamb on it 
Now get that, um, sorry, you can see it, that corner, get that into the, the corner of the triangle like that and on the fold against the fold so it doesn't get squashed so that's your lamb and I've got this one cut that one out I've cut it out so that yeah I, you can't see the black line I'll cut the black line off and then I folded this side over and this one over I haven't put some double-sided tape on that one put a piece on there on this one and I put some double-sided tape on here so this is the final bit so I've, I've put a, um, a marker here just to line it up I'm going to try and get get it in line with this one and get that one there. Yeah, that's about right. Stick that down. Stick that down. And then you fold it over to get the natural fold. Like that. And then you have your little lamb that pops up yeah hope you enjoyed making that and um, have fun see you next time god bless